Hello and welcome to Finextra TV's Predict 2024 series. I'm Hannah Wallace and kindly joining me in the studio today to share his predictions around payments is Ed Metzger, Vice President, Payments Efficiency at LexisNexis Risk Solutions. Ed, great to have you in the studio. Thanks for joining us. Great to be here. Thanks for, for having me. Really good to have you on. So I'm really looking forward to talking more specifically around account-to-account -account payments and authorised push payment fraud. Really interesting topic. But uh, before we do delve into more detail, it'd be great if we could get the headlines from you. Uh, what are those big payment trends um, that we need to keep an eye on as we go into 2024? Well, I, think that's, I mean, that's a great question because the, the world of payments is changing so fast. What, what should we expect from 2024? So number one is the continued growth of account-to-account -account payments as a medium of transfer value and of payments in the B2C space. And we've seen that we're seeing that everywhere. Um, why is that trend going to get more and more intense? It's because of the rise of instant payments. Mm -hmm. Sadly, that, that leads to a second mega trend, which is the continued explosion of payment fraud. Yep. And again, we see that as a, um, you know, it, it's been a story the last few years. As instant payments uh, take root and payments become more used in the B2C space, we're going to see that uh, explosion continue to gather pace. Other key topics that we need to look at is the way that corporates are looking to seize control of their payments agenda mm. and bring payments in-house. Why is that? Because payments is core to their operations, but also it's around the customer experience that they can give to their own customers in turn. Um, and we see that happening everywhere, corporates taking payments in-house. Um, and then on the banking side, there's, there's a clear trend towards... Um, banks looking to use bank, banking as a service platforms, tech partners to accelerate their growth and that kind of platformization of payments is a trend we think will just gather pace um, in 2024. All right, thank you for setting the scene for us there, giving us the payment trend headlines. Now homing in on account to account payments, as you say we've seen a real growth in fraud that has had a lot of attention and interest from the payment network providers, the regulators and the banks, especially due to authorised push payment fraud. So uh, tell us, what has been the impact of this on financial institutions and what's your forecast for this space as well? Well, I think it's always interesting to think about what, what that word impact means. You know, at the end of all these statistics that I could put on the table, there's always you know, a fraud, there's always a victim, there's always an ecosystem that's been attacked and a, a whole set of negative customer experiences. So I think we mustn't forget that, that this isn't just about pounds and pence, mm -hmm. it's about that, that customer experience. How you, you make hero customer experiences is by stopping fraud and where you, you've detected fraud, being able to recover the situation. So I think that that's, that's the first thing to say. I mean, what we think, what we see, and all our customers are saying to us is those fraud attacks are getting more and more intense. There's probably two big areas. So one is um, for individuals. It's this authorized push payment fraud mm -hmm. backed up by this growing industry of scams. And then for corporates, um, very much that invoice fraud vector yeah. where um, very similar method but the the use of invoices use of vendor management as the vehicle as the trojan horse to get inside corporate defenses that that we see that as a, as a big trend so in conclusion what, what what i think is important to to realize is fraud is not going to go away um, account to account payments are going to become more numerous more used by different segments of um uh, uh, the, the 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 economies of the the, the world um, and that's just going to create a more uh, attractive targets for fraudsters. So very important for everyone to be hyper-vigilant and preparing themselves for that explosion in fraud. All right, so that's the headline response then. Could you go into a bit more detail and perhaps share some advice on uh, what the response should be? What about that? Sure, so I think uh, addressing your first question, I think that the, the gold standard to, re to reduce that uh, risk of fraud is being able to identify the ownership of the account to which the payment is being made. That is the gold standard right. you know, in that space. You know, we, are, we are being very active because that's what our customers are asking us to do. Why does that stop the fraud? Well, by definition, if you can link the, the name on the account with, um, with, with that account from an ownership perspective, 
you know, that gives clarity to the sending customer, the, the initiator of the payment, am I doing the right thing or not? Um, we at LexisNexis, the solutions are investing heavily in um, a solution for that called uh, Safe Payment Verification, which we're now rolling out worldwide. I think that's the other challenge is uh, to date, a lot of solutions have been national and not international. And where we see that, that the high value frauds are happening internationally rather than domestically. All right, some good advice uh, weaved into that response there. And I want to end on talking a bit more about LexisNexis Risk Solutions. What can we expect from uh, you guys in 2024? So we, we will continue focusing on that, that particular problem. Um, which is the, the, the identity um, of the owner of the, the, the beneficiary account. But there's two other elements that we can really help with. Um, so one is the um, focusing on the cost of payments. And the cost of payments includes fraud, but includes lots of operational errors. And that's because fundamentally at the end, end day, people still are typing in very complex IBAN numbers. Yeah. And we, what we can do is we can bring at LexisNexis with Solutions, we bring all of our data assets to bear so that people, companies and banks can cleanse that pay payment data, helping their customers get the right data in the payment to make sure it gets where they want to at the right time. That's one thing. And then the other angle on the cost of payments is just being able to um, use all the means at, you know, at, our, at, at our customer's disposal to bring down the cost of payments. So that includes customer errors, but also includes tighter management of liquidity mm -hmm. in these days when there's interest rates are higher. Um, being able to really um, have a firm grip on what your payments are doing, um, especially with you know, correspondent banking where you have your funds parked. Are you managing that liquidity as tightly as you can? And one of the ways of doing that is making sure you have less errors and less fraud and therefore being able to have a, a tighter um, liquidity buffer than otherwise. So safe to say, watch this space. I'm looking forward to hearing more from LexisNexis Risk Solutions further down the line. But Ed, for now, uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for sharing your predictions. It's been great talking to you t today. Hopefully we'll speak again soon.